Hey everybody, how are you guys? You guys, are good? you guys seem so happy, that's so nice. Um, I'm like, what's that like? No, I'm doing okay. I, um, are you guys clap if you're from New York? Are people from... The slow clap, I love it. Uh, what part are you from? I just moved here. <laughs> oh, you're not? Oh, what a, we have liars up front. Okay, good to know. Um, wait, where did you move from? Uh, Los Angeles. Oh, trash. Okay, <laughs> this gets worse the more he talks. I'm like, go back to your country. <laughs> uh, wait, are you, are you also from California? No, I live in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. He's like, I'm trying to make up for it fast. I'm like, okay, Brooklyn, fuck yeah, dude. Um, how are you guys friends? College. Yeah. Where did you go to school? I don't even know. I'm dumb. I don't know what that is. I did go to college. I'm just not smart. You know what I mean? Um, where are you guys from? England. England. Okay, because I detected an accent. So they're smarter than everybody in the room. They just sound smart, you know? They, they are, you got, are people dating here? Yeah. Are you guys... Wait, what was that? You <laughs> pointed so weird. Oh, so these guys are dating. <laughs> are you guys... Are you guys dating? Or... Yes. Yeah. They are. Okay, so we have two couples. How did you guys meet each other? A long time ago, apparently. Like, you know, we all passed me in Sainsbury's and then we had a Snapchat. I don't want to be rude. You guys are so hard to understand. <laughs> I'm like, so... I speak different languages and I have no idea. And I was in Scotland for a month and I was like, am I just that dumb that I can't understand that at all. We, we struggle with Scotland too. You do? They're hard, right? I was like, what is going on here? Yeah. And they, they couldn't under oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to say anything bad! It's just hard to understand! I'm gonna get kicked out of this club. Um, or, you can translate for me? Thank you. We got a lady here to help out. Awesome. So, <laughs> go ahead. Yes, it's... He walked past him in the mall. Oh, okay. Oh, and then you just liked each other. And then you asked him what's that? Oh, oh, okay. All right, you guys really went for it. That's great. Are you guys a couple? Yes. Yes, and how long have you been together? 21 years. Oh my god! That's like most of my life. Can anyone beat 21? Can anyone? No. Okay, we're not clapping for anybody because they they're killing. Dude, that's like a full grown person. 21 years, they can smoke and drink and vote. That's insane. How did you guys meet? I was stationed down in Florida, where she's from. Oh, in Florida. Okay, the more trash. Great. Right, we, uh, she's... Are you from Florida? I am not. No? Where are you from? Texas. Oh, God. He's armed. Okay. <laughs> we, um, he's got guns. Dude, my family, my parents moved down there. They're from Brooklyn. They're from East New York. You guys know East New York? It's hell, okay? So, it, my dad talks about how it was on fire all the time. So he's, they're very tough, but they move, they love Texas because they keep buying guns, that sort of thing. They're very anxious, paranoid people. Dude, my mom keeps sending me weapons in the mail. That's what she does. She's like, you gotta protect yourself in New York. She sent me a taser and then a rape whistle. I was like, this is an out of order. Like, what am I supposed to do with a rape whistle, you know? I feel like I'm just alerting the rapists to me faster. <laughs> just like... Over here, boys! Bunch of hole holes. So, you guys love holes. Um, I am going through a breakup right now. Yes. Okay, um, it's fine. I'm totally fine. I have a hard time. I date drug addicts all the time. You, it's, it's hard to date a drug addict because you could be like, I love you, and they're like, where am I? <laughs> but, um, this guy wasn't a drug addict, he's an alcoholic, so I'm, I'm moving up, you know? I am, things are getting good for me. And he's sober right now. He met me though when he was drinking, and that's when he started to like me, so <laughs> I kind of hope he relapses, you know? <laughs> Cause then I'm like, maybe he'll call me. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I hope he dies. Um, I miss him. Okay, I um, I'm not doing well. Um, do you guys have pets? Do people have pets? Yep. You got? What do you have? German wire here, point two. Oh, that. Wow, that's a lot of words for one. Uh, and so many, you have two of them too. Oh, so you double down on the words. Um, how long have you had them? For all those, so they're kind of like baby. They're young. They're young guys. Uh, is it, are they siblings? Uh, half. Well, no, not siblings. Oh, half. There was a scandal <laughs> <laughs> in the dog community. <laughs> they're just sleeping around. Oh my god. Wow. Um, 
Are they rescues or no? No. Oh, okay, you guys are like, we're not that, we don't need trash dogs. Uh, we, <laughs> we want sophisticated animals, all right? I have rescued a bunny like a month ago. They do that. I feel like you guys are like, don't they just eat them? Uh, no, we don't do that. I rescued her and I relate, she's been through like abuse and stuff, right? But now she lives in the Upper East Side with me. The Upper East Side's like the bougiest part of New York. All right, but I moved there during COVID. With the COVID prices, all the rich people left and then the trash moved in, you know? I took, I took advantage, I am trash, dude, because I moved in and I don't belong there. Like the first day I moved in, I messed up my toilet and I was too nervous to talk to the super, so I just shit in the park. <laughs> I did, and then a homeless guy saw me and he was like, hey! And I was like, yeah. And he was like, you know there's a bathroom in the park? <laughs> I was like, I didn't know I'm new to the park. Um, and so this rabbit, there's a crazy group of rabbit women and they go find loose rabbits in the street and they rescue them. I'm like, are you sure you're not kidnapping them? Um, and they like, and so then they want to check your home before you adopt. They want to make sure you have a job. I don't. And they want to make sure you're doing well. I'm not. And, uh, and so this lady, I'm like, all I have is the Upper East Side, so I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna run with it. I need this body because I'm very alone. And so she comes by, and there's a nice car, a nice Tesla outside my apartment, so I'm just leaning on it. And then she's like, is this your car? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, can we take it for a spin? And I'm like, uh, no, but uh, we can look in from the outside. That just got cleaned. And then the guy who owns the car, he sees me, he walks out, and he's like, hey, get off my car. And I want this bunny so bad, so I'm just like, oh, sorry, Dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry, Dad. Dad hates when I lean on the car. And he's like, you're not my daughter. And I was like, you know, it hurts me when you say that. So, I got the money. I am very lonely. I miss my ex. It sucks. So I like have been doing. I'm also sober, so I don't get like relief the way other people. Sometimes people are sad. They drink or smoke or whatever. I can't. I've been sober for seven years, so I don't do any of that stuff. So instead, I just have weird behavior. Like I neurotically clean. Okay. My friends came over the other night. They were like, "Dude, are you okay?" And I was like, "Yeah, why?" And they were like, "For the past 20 minutes, you've been Q-tipping the corner of your apartment. Like, sit, sit down." <laughs> And I was like, everybody shut up, I have to vacuum my shower. Um, and they're like, you only have to vacuum because you haven't showered in weeks. Um, and then I also, it's like very backwards that, so I like neurotically clean, but then I also hoard stuff, mostly living stuff. Um, so I have this, I keep finding like half dying plants. I had one potted plant, now there's eight, all right? And they all do not want to be there. Um, it's a, <laughs> It's a hostage situation. I um, I keep finding them in the street, like in the trash. And I'm like, I'll be, I'm very like open emotionally. I'll be crying down the street and then I see these plants. And I'm like, it's okay. I also know what it's like to be thrown away. And, and they're like, dude, not this bitch. We just, just let us die, you know? They're like not having it with me at all. Um, I, I really do enjoy having my rabbit. She is, she's sort of like a cat where she free roams, she has a litter box, she acts like a puppy, she's very sweet. But here's the thing, she, when I first got her as a rescue, she was very skittish, and now she's in the Upper East Side, it's all bougie, and now she's an Upper East Side bitch, which I don't, I do not appreciate, all right? And if you guys couldn't tell, I'm like pretty neurotic, so I got her, it's like I never want her to feel hungry, I got 80 pounds of hay, about 80 pounds of hay for a two pound rabbit, you know? My friends are like, dude, oh, like, they keep making fun of me. They're like, oh, did you get a horse? Where's the horse at? Because you have so much hay. Who needs that much hay? And I'm getting pissed at the rabbit now because she keeps, oh, I have 40 pounds of Timothy hay, which is more expensive. You guys are learning so much about bodies today. There's 40 pounds of Timothy hay. I'm allergic to it, right? And so I got 40 pounds of orchard hay, which I'm not allergic to. It's less expensive. I swear this bitch can smell out the price difference because she's not, she won't fuck with the orchard hay. It's like pissing me off. And then I started mixing it together. I was like, well, she's gonna have to eat it because I, uh, what am I supposed to do? I, am I gonna eat the hay? I, don't, I tried it, it's bad. Um, and then she, I was like, she, I mixed it together. She sits there and peels it apart. I was like, oh, I didn't know you were a bitch and autistic too. I'm like, what are we doing? Um, okay, guys, I am your host. You guys are 